For all you guys just joining, we're going to be starting here in just a few minutes, in five minutes. So, hang out for a little while. For everybody who's joined in the last two minutes, we'll be starting in about three minutes. So just, yeah, three more minutes to go. Uh, as this is the webcast, guys, there's questions that you guys can enter if you have any questions along the way during the presentation as well. Um, so feel free to ask questions. Uh, we can see what you guys are asking and we'll, we'll answer those questions as they come in as much as possible. All right, Sean, you there? Yes, I'm here, Tony. All right, Sean. All right, so it's uh, 6 p.m. Uh, California time and uh, 10 a.m. Shanghai time, Taipei time. Um, so this is when we're supposed to start, and since we want to keep anybody uh, or delay anybody, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, as I told everybody a few minutes ago, there's a questions and answers pane. I see that Thang Nguyen has uh, said hello to everybody there. Um, hey, Thang, how are you, man? Um, so we're going to get started here. So welcome to the um, very first uh, Works with NX webinar. Um, we're putting together these webinars to keep you guys up to date on the kind of new technology that's being integrated and becoming available um, to you guys to use on projects, uh, to use... Uh, Use your own facilities. Um, and today we're starting off with a company called Centurion 
neuro uh, Centurion Solutions, and they're going to be presenting their Neuralytics uh, platform. And here with me on the webcast is Sean Tom. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, let Sean Hi, take guys. over. Um, I'm going to be driving the PowerPoint at the beginning because Sean's based out of Shanghai, so the internet's a little dicey sometimes. Um, but at the end of the demonstration, we're going to switch over to a live demo, and Sean's going to show you from Shanghai um, how the solution works in real time. So um, let's Ooh. get started. All right. Hi, guys. How are you guys doing? Yeah. So I'm just going to touch base quickly, uh, quite fast. But before I start, I just want to thank NX Fitness for this opportunity for this uh, webinar. And of course, uh, Mr. Tony Luz for inviting us. It's certainly a privilege for Centurion Solutions to kick off this uh, Works with NX webinar. Okay, so if you can see this picture, this is me. I'm actually a Singaporean, but uh, Centurion head office uh, is located in Shanghai, China, because most of our market uh, business is here. So we have satellite offices all around. Um, HQ is still in Singapore. So basically, we have two offices in uh, Shanghai and Singapore. What we do, we do uh, artificial intelligence, video analytics. So that is what we mainly do. So AI. Okay, Tony, can I have the next slide, please? Thanks. So um, today, I just want to introduce you some uh, product called Centurion Neuralytics. Um, Neuralytics is designed um, to work on the NX platform and is designed to empower NX with uh, very uh, unique and powerful analytics. It is driven by artificial intelligence and we do deep learning. And so our algorithms are fast and accurate. We use a YOLO3 data set, um, deep learning AI data set to train our algorithm. And so what we like to call it a hybrid analytics model, which is highly fast and accurate. Can I have the next slide? Thank you. Yeah, Sean, just real quick. Yeah. Um, so when you're training uh, algorithms, right? So let's say you're going to train a, a neural network to do something new, right? Yep. yep. Um, so you guys basically give it a lot of structured images or videos that show a specific action taking place. Um, and then over time, um, that you can you can basically train the neural network to be able to recognize that behavior. Is that right? Yes, that is true. So first, we use uh, a lot of iterations. Uh, certain algorithms we use up to fifty thousand uh, videos and pictures to train it to get it uh, advanced, and then after that, um, the system can pick it up itself and do its own deep learning and how long. Um, how long has the technology that underlies like neuralytics been around? You know, it's been around for a long time. At least uh, the last uh, six years, it has been around. Yeah. So it's so, been in development for the past six years. Yeah, it's been on the market for a long time. Yeah. Cool. Okay, next slide. Okay, next slide, please. So um, what I'm going to show you um, is just uh, one of the algorithms we use, but not the only. I'm showing you this algorithm is because uh, what we use, the human skeleton, uh, part of it, is to define uh, different positions, for example, stand up, lifting, assembling, and hands up. Um, and if somebody falls in a certain posture, that's why we can identify false alarms or real alarms. That works uh, perfectly in our human fall detection, which I will show you later that is very robust and very accurate. So in a nutshell, just to uh, uh, explain, um, we are highly accurate. 99.8% or 98.7% above, and false negatives are extremely low, and it's fast. Okay, so um, next slide, please. Thank you. Um, one point here. So, yep. like you said, 99.8% accurate. Um, does that does, does the environment matter that much, or the the way that the camera is positioned? Okay, we have actually, if you go on the Centurion uh, website, we have. Uh, videos on show you how to optimize um, the, the, the analytics to make it accurate. Of course, it is crucial to have cameras at a good angle. That works for face, face recognition, analytics, and all sorts of um, uh, algorithm. How it works is because first, what we use is deep learning, uh, YOLO tree. Uh, so first, the algorithm will detect that this 
person is a human being, then after by which you run the rules behind it. So, but if we have a, not a good angle, we do not know this is a human, we cannot run the rules at the behind. So when it comes down to, for example, someone crossing a line or someone falling down, even if a, a dog falls down or a dog starts to get into violence, it will not trigger the alarm. It has to be a human because we detect the object and then we detect the rules behind. So yes, Tony, um, camera angles is important. Uh, we have a whole set of uh, camera angles and requirements that uh, to optimize that you can see and we have, have the training in our website. Yep. Um, yeah, so another question about that then is, is so your, your accuracy is based off your training data set, right? So like how many, right. like the different camera views that you've introduced to your, to your uh, neural network, right? Yep. Um, so over time, does that become more flexible uh, as you get more training information and you're, and you're kind of training it on different camera views and different resolutions and different, different uh, lighting conditions? Yes, precisely. So, for example, what you say is correct. We collect more videos, more data set, and we train it to be more accurate. That is why um, for one algorithm, for example, the fire and smoke, you have day algorithms and night algorithms because we take more information, more different cameras, more resolutions, more angles, um, and then we start to train it. Yeah, so, so people, it is people who use... People who decide to use Neuralytics on a project, um, what the performance of it now and the accuracy of it now you're basically saying it's only going to get better as time goes on? Yes, it is. Yep. Now it's a really very good, which you will see later, but it's going to get even better as time goes on. All right. That yep. was my question. Next slide. Okay. So um, this is the license structure, how we sell it. I'm just going to touch base very fast on this. Basically, we have core features and, and advanced or optional features. So we charge per license per camera. And um, if you get a license, you get all the core features um, inside. So it's like free, it's inside. It comes with the license. So for example, if you want to get a human fall detection, you get intrusion, line cross, loitering, theft, and object um, inside. So you get six algorithms, okay? Okay, yeah. so basically if you buy any one of the algorithms, the core features always come. Yeah, it always there. it is always there, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay. So, um, any, let's go. Any slide. questions about that out there? Since we got, got a second. Okay. Let's I don't see, see any questions coming in. So, feel free to ask everybody if you got any questions on the uh, go to webinar. All right. All right. So, let's jump right into it. So, I guess if uh, you guys have been using NX for a while, you guys will like what you're going to see or what, what you're going to hear about this. Um, okay, basically, with the NX uh, Metadata SDK, Central Neolithics is right smack installed on the NX Witness platform. Um, all you have to do is to install the plugin, which you can just uh, drag and drop into your browser and just en enable the um, any camera in NX Witness with analytics. So it doesn't matter what camera brand you use, as long as you can connect to NX Witness, we will run the analytics on top of the camera or even a virtual video, okay? Even a virtual so, video, yep. So the so what you're saying is that the, the, the there's a plugin for Neuralytics that is developed with the metadata SDK, right? Yes. Um, the plugin, like to install it, you basically uh, drag and drop a, a DLL file into the plugins folder on the, where yep. your server is installed. Um, yeah. And then once you have that DLL installed in the server, you'll be able to see the plugin and configure it, enable it from the NX Witness desktop client, right? Yes, um, correct. And once you've done that, you can enable it on individual cameras, um, and then objects can be seen by either using the object tab uh, in the notifications panel or right-clicking on a camera and just saying show objects all the time, right? Yes, I'm right. You're right. Sorry. So um, I um, maybe probably Tony, you can let us know more about the DII. Um, um, what do you call it? Roadmap for the, the DLL is the driver. Like right now, the way the plugins are installed is pretty manual because it's the first generation of uh, metadata SDK-based plugins. 
uh, in the future, there will be, uh, we have the works of the next marketplace where you'll be able to, to uh, access uh, companies who have plugins that are available in the short term. In the longer term, there'll be an NX cloud. There will actually be um, a, uh, a place in cloud where you can find uh, compatible plugins and, and, and products. Um, so it's going to just get easier as we go. Eventually, we're going to get to try and aim at the point where you can just basically download and install it from the client without even having to go to the um, uh, go to the, the the cloud at all. So uh, cool. some questions came in. Yep. Jason asked, "Can I just purchase fire detection license?" I think you already answered that, right? Yeah. Fire uh, no, detection. Or it must come together with the core. So when you purchase any license, any feature, you're always going to get the core functions, right? Yes. Because they're required to do the more advanced functions. Yeah. Basically, okay. the core functions. This is the core functions. Uh, are, are basic functions. What Neuralytics uh, are specialized in is actually the advanced functions, which I'm going to show you later. Yeah. So, so we just give the basic functions uh, in every license, you know. Yep. Okay. So, coming back okay. to this uh, presentation, can I continue? Or do you have any, any more questions, which we will answer um, later? Um, install and configure the Neuralytics. Um, of course, uh, this you can see here, this is the VA manager where you insert the IP address you can access by Chrome, access by browser, and you see all the functions on the right hand here. You see the, 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 the basic uh, core functions on the top, intrusion, loitering, all the way to the deeper counting. And then you see the global and the human post. These are the advanced functions, which is, of course is optional. So fire, smoke, violence, and fall. So you just double click and just uh, draw draw sensitivity uh, boxes and um, your intrusion zones and apply and it will be on NX. Okay. Okay. So so the first thing you do is install the Neuralytics or you guys you guys uh, sell uh, software only and you guys do you guys sell hardware as well? We sell software and hardware for the Neuralytics. But so basically when, yeah, when I just want project, to clarify yeah, sorry. Yeah. I was going to say, when there's a project and someone wants to use uh, your product, right, what's the base, best way for them to learn how to, like, quote the project? The best way is to contact one of our global distributors. They will explain the, everything how to do it. So, so the best thing is either to talk to you guys or talk to one of your distribution partners. Yeah, correct. Right. I will and direct you. Know, the you guys give, like, a proposal? So yes, we give a proposal and uh, basically Neuralytics for this product is totally software based. Okay. So we have no, there's no need for any hardware. There's no camera. It's all totally software based. So um, the thing is that uh, server is optional, right? But uh, for certain uh, configurations, um, um, the, crucial, the crucial thing for the server is actually a 1060 graphics card. Uh, for Neuralytics, we should be introduced a NVIDIA 1060 graphic card and above, and a i7 processor and above. Yeah. Okay. So, so these are the crucial components. It's not so much resource driven. So I think this is okay because people always ask if we use very resource driven servers. The answer is no. Okay. It's just the processor and the graphics card. You can fix it up your server yourself if it's possible. Um, or you want us to do it everything for you, so troubleshoot, you can do it everything uh, in one. It's easier if we do it for you. But it's optional, depends on uh, each and individual market, okay? Yep. Um, so okay. basically, though, there are hardware, there's hardware that's required in order to run Neuralytics, right? Of course, yes. Um, yes. And the number of cameras that can, can be uh, run on a single graphics card it, does it depend on which analytic you're running? Um, basically, if you see the advanced analytics, you can see under here fire, smoke, violence, and fall down. These are advanced analytics. So a typical server can run 16 channels of advanced analytics and okay. 32 channels of the core. Okay, so you can mix and match your resource, if you know what I mean. So, so that's say, one server with a Core i7 and a GTX. Yes, uh, that is 16. If you're going okay. up to 50 channels, you got to go to the i9, okay? 
All right. So if so you need more channels on a single server, you need higher CPU. Do you need more precisely, graphics? Or just the precisely, one? precisely. Precisely. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Next. Uh, so step one is install and configure Neuralytics. Uh, step two. Okay. So step two. Um, now I'm. So if you see the the uh, the file here, this is the plugins inside the NX Fitness um, under program files, never updates, media server. Just drag and drop the 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 the, the plugin here, and after that, uh, if you see the little video here, um, click on system administration, and you just key in the IP address of the um, Neuralink server, and you direct your NX server towards um, the Neuralink server. So NX Witness is embedded with analytics. Okay, I am going to show you a live demo later. So I'm just going to just touch base very fast here. So basically, when that's done, set up your intrusion boxes, your rules, click on objects on NX, and you can see in any camera, it will appear. Um, the, the cables, will, the, the, the boxes will appear on the camera. And last thing you need to do is to set up your triggers. So set your triggers and your alarms, and then, bam, analytics is on that camera in NX, in any camera you choose. Um, it's as simple as that. It's almost like plug and play. So when I walk past this line, the alarm comes on the right. I can trigger off any of the events I want in NX. Anything NX supports in events, we can do, and I'm going to show you how to do it later, OK? So let's go to the next slide. All right, so step three would be create the rules, which you just showed, right? So after you've got the plugin enabled or installed, enabled and configured, uh, then you would go into the rules engine, right? And just set up a rule, which you already just showed. Yes. So then uh, when this analytics event happens at these cameras or this yes. camera, do this All action, right. right? So analytic event is the, 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 the handshake we throw into the NX, and then you can activate any of the uh, triggers you can see here. So you can bookmark, you can play sound, you can speak, you can end HTTP, you can do anything that NX does. Okay. So the whole full suite of the NX weakness uh, actions and event triggering, you can create almost anything you want. Okay, from here. So, so that's how we do it. Later we will also run a live demo on this. So okay, probably let's go to the next slide. So this three steps: one, two, three. All right. So the benefits of integrating sensual neurotics with NX witness DMS. Okay. You get a, a full suite of one of the most remarkable platforms, DMS platforms, uh, um, network optics. And now you have all sorts of video analytics you can empower on this platform, any brand of cameras, and you can mix and match all these for many, many different projects, uh, for retail banking, you know, hospital projects, industrial, and you know, the, the sky's the limit what you can do with this uh, system. So it gives the NX a lot of bite. This NX is really good by itself, but it has now analytics bite in it, strong analytics bite. So um, the last point or so, it's uh, we, let, uh, we let you analyze any brand of cameras not only cameras, DVRs, NVRs, um, HCTV, UDP streams, and also webcams, if it's strong enough, and uh, virtual cameras, which I later have a live demo. I will load up two or three virtual, cam uh, two virtual cameras, and you can see how it works as well. Any questions before we continue to watch some videos? Don't see any new questions that came in. Okay. All right. Moving so let's on. get to the video part probably. So that's more. Uh, so, okay, so hold up, gonna, demo. Sorry? You're going to show yeah. some uh, demo videos here and just describe what's yeah. happening. Yeah. And then you're going to do a live demo, right? Yes, yes, that's what we're going to do. All yeah. right, here we go. You ready? Okay. So this is how uh, you can see um, neurotics running on the NX Witness interface. You see, if, let's say, people are fighting. The alarm goes on the right. We have fire down there. Uh, we have uh, smoke at the bottom, and of course, some intrusion lines we created. Oh, that's a video of the of the Secutech Taiwan exhibition. You can see Tony in the background there. Yeah. So, 
That's you, Tony. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, you're in there too. You're yeah. Am I? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so, All right. So this is just a demo of like multiple functions running at the same time. Yeah. All right. Precisely. So there's no okay. limit to what you guys can do once you have a, a, an integrated analytic where you assign it to specific cameras. You can still view all those cameras in real time because remember, all this processing and everything is taking place on a different machine, right? Yes. The, the yes. NX client um, is just doing the bounding box and the metadata tag uh, representation yes. for you. So what you're seeing in the client is really just the same fast client you're used to. It's not going to impact your performance on the client side, right? Precisely. All right. All right. So no. this. Uh, Okay, so I just want to touch base very fast. We have the dump detection, fire detection, we have night algorithms for that, line cross detection, fall down, our famous fall down detection, which I will show you later, violence detection, or kung fu, like Tony calls it, object removal, theft detection, uh, and smoke. Okay, so just in a nutshell, this is just some of the algorithms we do. Okay, we are going to show you a demo of the violence detection. Um, the algorithm from this video is highly accurate. If you see, you really um, get in a fight, you can see the bounding box turn blue. First, you get two humans, two humans coming together as a fight in the group, and then the alarm will pop up on the right. It is highly yeah. robust, so if you are punching the air, the alarm won't go out. You have to be in a group, and you really have to fight. This is considered two-way violence. So okay. no, uh, don't use this at a UFC fight, right? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. All it's right. not wise to use a UFC fight, okay? So we have also the violence detection uh, in hospitals, as you can see. Uh, for hospitals, we use a very special model called the hybrid violence and sound model. So the violence is picked up by the camera and we have subtle sounds if the patient says, help me or scream, ah, okay, we will pick up that alarm inside the sound box and the alarm will come out here. So we have a system that can see and hear. This is what we do for many HK home and hospitals. And um, this is a, called a hybrid hospital model, right? So, so what was the challenge in the hospital? Was it that you had like nurses and everything going over people and sometimes people are like uh, not responsive and they, they don't know what's going on so they're moving and so it looks like a fight and so the you had to add the hospitals, sound we have abuse of the patients so sometimes you get strangling sometimes somebody is strangling the patient beating the patient putting something with his mouth or giving him uh, verbal threats right and the recently uh, we have something called molestation. So how do you have a system that actually can detect molestation? There's no way a video can do it because it's so subtle, but we can detect from sound, certain sounds. The patient will say, help me or help, or, you know. So we have a system that is hybrid that can see and can hear to be able to pick up uh, all those undetected uh, sounds and motions there to extradite violence totally in the hospital ward. Okay, so this is the system that comes closest to doing that. Uh, you can raise up from a vision and sound to make it 98% accurate, okay? All right, sorry, just moved on. So, right. smoke and fire detection. Smoke and fire detection, we have day and night algorithms. So, it works in the day and it works in the night and California should buy this. <laughs> 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 yeah, we got okay. some fire out here right now. Yeah. Yeah. And right. so, uh, yeah. And Australia uh, too. Yeah. <laughs> Australia too right now, and also Amazon and Africa. Right. Everybody's burning. Yeah. Okay. So what we did in the office with the fire detection is that we have some of our employees. You see Sasha and um, Mr. Chi there. They are just burning some paper to test. So we can uh, big fire. Of course, it's easy to detect small fires and. What we do is also inside the office, we we, we, we burn a little bit of uh, fire there and, and it, it works, okay? So this is our fire algorithm. All right. Okay, we can jump to the next one. Yep. Okay, so this is the human fall detection, extremely robust. Um, it is unlike any other fall detection. Why is it so? Is it because um, 
we're going to show you a different fall down postures. And this works perfectly in OH, uh, homes, each care, healthcare, hospitals, malls, um, um, plants, and uh, all sorts of scenarios. So he falls down straight in his belly, the alarm goes off. Okay, so it's uh, highly uh, accurate. And let's see if um, he can do other postures to show you how accurate it is. Okay, so now he's going to uh, fall one knee. Okay, so probably he tripped over something. The alarm comes out, you can see on the right, on the annex witness. What if, okay, he doesn't fall down, he just probably kneels down on the ground, okay? This is where many other algorithms will have false alarm. The speed as he's going down, the anger is going down, but it's the kneel, it's no alarm. You see, there's no alarm because he's kneeling down. He did something wrong, maybe. He's apologizing to his wife, maybe, but that is not a fall. <laughs> you tie your shoelace. That is not a fall as well. So you have to be on the ground fall down. That's where I, when I showed the human posture earlier, uh, is part of the algorithm that makes this work. Okay, this is where it gets really robust. Fall down on his on his backside. Okay, this is a fall. An old man falling on his backside, definitely is a fall. But what if he falls down at the same angle on his backside, but he sits? Were this considered a false alarm or a fall? You see, it, it's not a fall. So the algorithm is so accurate that it detects a fall and a sit, same angle, same speed, same. Um, and so this is how accurate it gets. And if you sit down and you fall, will you faint, alarm pops out. Okay, so this is the fall detection. So there was a question, um, yeah. can, does the fire, uh, can it be detected at night? Yeah, we, we, we went yes. over that a little bit earlier. Let yep. me go back a slide. So the... The algorithm has been trained for both. Oh, where is it? The mm. last slide there. Uh, the fire. Oh, there's two more back, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the the algorithm yep. has been trained yeah, for both day and night um, detection. So to answer the question that came in. Yep. All right. So we got human ball okay. detection. And now it's All time right. for live demo. demo. I am going to shift the presentation over to Sean in Shanghai. Um, you can take it from here. So, and we'll take it back when he's done and finish the presentation. All right, Sean. All right, guys. So I have an annex witness uh, running here. You want to wave the my... camera, Sean? You prove it's really you. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, okay. Let me let me walk there. <laughs> Okay, so this is me. Hi, guys. Um, so I'm sitting right here. This is our office in Shanghai. And uh, your life, your life in Centurion Solutions office in Shanghai. Okay, so I have a few um, cameras here I'm running. First, this is the live camera with my hand again. Okay, and I have two virtual cameras that's running here that I run it on a virtual uh, play, player. Okay. So what I'm going to do is going to show you how easy it's going to, to set up Neuralytics in NX Witness. This is NX 4.0. What you need to do, see my cruiser, I come up to the top left, click on System Administration, click on the plugins. You look at these plugins here, and you can see the IP address here. This IP address, it is the Neuralytics IP address. So just insert the IP address here, film apply and OK and NX is directed to the Neuralytics means analytics, uh, NX server is powered on by analytics, okay? So the next thing you wanna do is you see all the cameras here, any camera that connect to NX will show up here. If you wanna enable um, any function, just right click, go to camera settings, and you look at this tab here, just apply. Okay, so let's make sure all the cameras are applied with analytics. Okay, let me check. One thing, uh, Sean, real quick on that. Yeah. Can you go to the system uh, where you show the plugins or system, system administration? So when you're installing plugins, guys, once you've installed it on the server itself and you click here on plugins, uh, click, you'll see the plugins that are available to you that you've installed from third party. Right now, Sean's using a beta version and it's based off of what, what's called a stub analytics plugin that's part of the metadata SDK. And so it's showing up as stub analytics plugin, but when you get a deployed version of this, it should say neurolytics 
um, or whatever the name of the plugin that you're using is, right? Yeah, correct. Sorry. So then after this, you go to the camera. Uh, you were just showing that, Sean, when I interrupted okay, so you. You go to the camera, for the camera settings, enable. So when it's enabled, neural fix is powered. Uh, I'm sorry, the camera is enabled with uh, analytics. Next thing you want to do is to, let's say, just open a Chrome browser, refresh this. Whatever camera that you enabled, right, will be here. So these are the unique cameras that you enabled just now. And so, so this, also is the, this is the Centurion Neurolytics interface. It's web-based, right? So you yes, browse right. to the Neurolytics interface in the client. Right, and yeah. then you can go go over there to the right again. Uh, so that you've got three cameras in your system right now. So when yeah, you go correct. to camera select, you can see the three cameras that are showing up right now. The, they're showing up by what's called a camera ID. Can you open up the NX Witness client, uh, Sean? Yeah. Um, so right now, the way that Neurolytics is implemented, it says camera ID. You can use the camera name. You can use other things. Right now, the way they've implemented it is with the camera ID. If you're not sure what the camera ID is of the camera that you're trying to set up you right click on that camera on the tree here and just go to camera settings dialog and then if you go to general on the on the left no you were there sean go back you go to general on the left and you go to more info underneath the name of the camera see the more info down arrow sean yeah now you can see the camera id right here see that camera id the, yep. the sixth one down. That's where that that camera ID is coming from in uh, the Neuralytics uh, interface yep. right now. Sorry. Right. Go ahead. Okay, so we, let's come back to here. Let's say we, let's we have this uh um the, um uh, smoke video here. Let's enable some smoke detection, maybe, and apply. And for example, let's come to the other camp, the other virtual camera. Small. And the oh, wait, let me see. This is, okay, maybe a fire. We apply. And let's come back here to the so. What we can do is that we can see the object tabs here. Let's open and close it again. All the three cameras. And you see the alarm comes out, right? So because we enable the smoke detection, look at the bounding box here. If you click on object frames, show always, you can see the bounding box are appearing on um, the Neuralytics. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the live camera. Okay, Sean, so there's one more way you can do it, right? So if you yeah. go to the right panel, or the notifications panel, and you click on the objects uh, button, it's the it's the one on the far right on the notifications panel. Which one? Yeah. Notification. notification panel. Panel. Yeah, right there. Now you yeah. can see basically if you click on one of the cameras, it'll it'll show you the detected objects uh, on those cameras as well. It's another way to do the same thing. Okay. So you, cool. That's all right. You can go back, Sean. I was just I was showing him another way to yeah, do it. Yeah, that is um, the beauty of the NX Fitness platform. So you just have to enable that. Okay. So now let's just jump into the live one. Okay. So of course we have fire here. I'm going to I disable everything now, and I'm just going to click on and try our famous algorithm. Okay. Before that, let me just uh, this I'm just going to disable all the other analytics. And so we just do the live one and that will do, okay? You guys with me? All right, yep. so, okay, we have uh, a live. In the meantime, there's, a, there's, a one, there's one question, there's a couple of questions that came in, Sean, that maybe yeah. you can answer while you're doing that. Um, one question was, does this work on other Powered by NX products? Uh, and the answer is yes, the metadata SDK is consistent across um, all powered by NX products. Um, so, so the answer is yes to that one. This, the other question was the camera ID is being used now. Uh, when, when, uh, when, when you guys uh, give it out for production, is it going to show the camera name or is it going to continue to show the camera ID for the selector? We can do both, but right now it shows the camera ID. Yeah. Okay. So right now it shows camera ID, but you guys could possibly change it, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. All you can. Another question that came in is, 
can we batch config all the cameras? Yes, the we answer can. to that. Sorry, go ahead. Yes, we can. In the next version, we I have it for all. We can so batch I'm not sure, I'm not sure if that question was about batch configuring all the cameras on the client or in like in the Neuralytics client, or are you talking about in the NX Witness client? Okay, uh, let me explain right now. Yeah, go, like I was going to answer the NX Witness one. Um, okay, right ahead, now, I think the answer for the NX Witness one is I've never tried. Um, so <laughs> it's possible um, because when you do try it right now, Sean, open up multiple cameras. No, 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 try. We tried already this one and it works. NX, the configuration will always stay even if your server goes down or it reboots, it stays. Okay. For so the. So yeah. my, our question was, can you, if you highlight all the cameras on your viewing scene right now, if you go back to the client, right? Oh, now you can't do that in NX. Yeah, I don't okay. think so. Yeah, you can't try do it that. real fast. Grab, grab those cameras and bring them in. Since you got it a live system right now, we can try and break it on a demo. It's always a good idea. So right, uh, just drag across two cameras there, uh, the, both those cameras. Okay, the virtual camera will probably be a bit Lower. Just highlight, Sean, uh, highlight all three cameras at the same time. So like just drag and you no, know, like, uh, no, no, just on the, the, the viewing scene, click your mouse, yeah. left click your mouse on the viewing screen and just drag it across all three cameras. You got to start an empty spot. Okay. So I just close it and I start again. No, no, don't close it. <laughs> open it all, open every single camera up. All right, now click on the right there. Yeah, now drag, click and drag. No, right, left click. No, just click, left click somewhere empty. There you go. Now highlight all three cameras. From where? Here or here? Yeah. No, you were just there. Click where you just were. Left click. Don't, don't right click and drag. Left click and drag your mouse. Left click. Oh, just do this. There you go. Highlight all three. Now right click on one of the cameras and open up camera settings. And the answer is no, you can't batch configure or batch enable and disable analytics right now in the NX Witness client. But that's a good feature request. Um, sorry, so for Neuralytics, you're saying you can batch configure, is that correct? Yes. For Neuralytics, you can batch configure. Let me explain to you how we do it. We can batch configure um, the advanced features, fall down, violence, smoke, and fire. So we can batch configure all the cameras in this drop down menu with the, 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 the advanced features. However, for people count line cross and disappear, appear, loitering, and intrusion, the core, this is all uh, have to be customized per camera because you don't draw a line at the same place for every camera. You, you right. understand? What I mean? So this yeah. will have to be customized per every camera. But for the global and the human pose, the general functions, we can batch configure everything. And the settings can be saved. And so when you reboot your server, the settings stays with the NS witness. So if you configure for a 50 channel, 100 channel project, um, the settings will stay, uh, and even if you reboot your server, okay. So All right. that's the answer the question. Yep. All right. Continue so, with your demo. Sorry. <laughs> so um, it's a good question. It's a good question. Okay. So um, let's continue. Um, we are going to try some of the algorithms. So when you see this, you can select any function you want. For example, I'm going to select intrusion, and maybe I can make the sensitivity, high or low. So you can draw all sorts of um, 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 lines you want. And maybe I want to do a line cross. Left to right is down to up, right to down is left there. You can draw as much as you want. And if you want to clear it, you either clear it, or what you can do is that you can just drag it out, drag it out of the box, right? Okay, let me drag it out. Just drag it out of the box and it's gone. Okay, so that's how you do it, okay? So let me just uh, do an intrusion and probably a line cross here in the office and I apply, okay? So once you apply, come back to the NX witness. Let me close this too. You see this object frame, show always, bam, the, 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 the lines are here, you see? So anything, any, any video you can empower, the last thing you wanna do 
is to make sure that your camera rules are there. So come to on an analytic event. Um, for example, analytic event, we select all the cameras probably. Show notification, you can select like uh, all sorts of triggers. Here we do show notification, one second. Okay, so we'll pop on the right. Okay, let's get somebody to walk. Maybe I'll walk myself. I'm gonna ask my colleague to walk in that box. <sighs> And bam, comes up as simple as that. Analytics is done. Another guy comes, bam. Okay, these are all our colleagues. Okay. So now these yeah. uh these events that you're doing, if you've got recorded video, you should be able to search based off those events in the yes. in, in the objects tab on the right here in the notifications yes. panel as well. So you click on objects again, you can see you've got search and it works just like smart motion. So you can select an area to look for specific metadata tags. Um, and you can also uh, search the entire video and the timeline uh, will show you, um, just like motion detection, you'll just get a slightly different color that comes in. Uh, it'll be yellow. Um, it'll show you like all the events that have happened based off of this uh, metadata search you're doing on the timeline in yellow, just like smart motion search, right? Yes, correct. Right. Sorry, so go ahead. Okay, so coming back to this, let's clear this and uh, we can try some other algorithms. How about we try the loitering, all right? So how loitering works, you can select your number of seconds, someone loiters in the box, right? Let's draw a loitering box here, maybe. Let's see. Wait, let me do it again. Loitering box. Sorry, something appeared on my computer. Oh. All right, maybe try uh, the fall down one. You want to see the fall down one? Okay. I want to see fall down. All right, so let's do the fall down. We do a sensitivity of eight apply. Okay, so coming back to that, let's go to the alarm. So, okay, you see the algorithm running. Let's get a, a colleague to help out. Okay, so we get one of our colleague. Can you wave to the camera? Wave to the camera. This is our famous fall down guy you can see him in all the videos he's always <laughs> falling down so yeah so i think he's a he's a he's a web web uh, web uh, celebrity now yeah so okay um what is you fall down okay so when he falls down straight on the floor bam notification appear on the right okay so okay let's going to try some uh, how robust is it why don't we kneel down You see, he kneels down, there's no alarm coming out. He need to fall, okay? You need to What if he tie his shoelace, sorry? What if he ties his shoelace? Um, if he ties his shoelace, no alarm. So you need to be fall. Most algorithms fail at this point of time, you know what I mean? Because it's just a basic rule. What we do is we use object detection, posture, skeleton, speed, algorithm and uh, also um, high, uh, highly trained with 50,000 different iterations. Okay, um, what if he falls on his backside? Okay, so he falls on his backside slowly, you know, okay, see the alarm goes up. So see this is how an old man falls in the hospital, slowly falls, right? Okay. <laughs> old man falling in the hospital. Uh, Sean, there's a question. Um, this is the live analytics stuff with the bookmarks as it's coming in, right? So you've configured everything, you've enabled everything. I, think, I believe so. I created with the bookmarks. Yeah, uh, because... I'm not worried about bookmarks. My question for you is, yeah. uh, there's a question in the, the forum which says, uh, can they do, can, if you install analytics, right, and you've already got 10 days of recording, is there any way for them to like detect events on the, the already recorded information? They already yes. recorded a video. Yes, you played like a video and we detect. So you could potentially loop it back through the system? Okay, that is a question we need to ask NX. Hopefully you can answer this. As long as it's so, a camera stream or virtual player inside NX, we can run analytics. So as our answer can... right now is like uh, the, the answer right now is nothing in, in NX allows you to do um, uh, to use a, a live analytic like this to do um, archive search for something before the analytic has been implemented. Um, that being said, it's 
kind of a common feature request. So I would expect something like that to come along in the next couple of releases. Um, basically, the metadata SDK and the capabilities of the, the, the neural networking-based analytics, um, we're constantly considering what are the feature sets that need to be implemented to make it more useful. Um, and that's one of them. So that's the answer from my side. I guess for you, Sean, the question was, if I gave you recorded video, could you run it through your system and see? And the answer is yes, but you just have to run it through as an RTSP stream or HTTP stream. You have to rerun it through the system. Oh, uh, on this stream, right? Right. It's right. on this stream, yeah, on this stream yeah. into NX or as a live camera stream. So how do we do that? We run it as a virtual player. Yeah, uh, you can load it into my virtual player. We actually, in Century, we actually created a special virtual player to play videos. So it is in progress. We have used it for all our live demos. All our distributors, our partners have a copy of that uh, virtual video. Uh, and so yeah. you just have to put the virtual video inside. It will show up in a tab on the left as a camera. Put the analytics inside and run it. Okay, that's how the we do it. The short answer is you can't do it right now uh, or you can do it, but it's going to be kind of complicated and, and, and work intensive, right? Okay. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, yeah, uh, it's not really work intensive, but it's uh, uh, not because you got to run everything through, right? It's going to take you some yeah, time. Okay. So, yeah. all right. Um, anything else, Sean, you want to show yes, us? Yes, yes, yes. Wait, we want to show you something else. So just now he falls down on his backside. Can we do it again? So, uh, uh, fall down on your backside. Okay, so this is a fall, okay, an old man fall, fall on the backside, so the alarm comes up. So this is where it gets really interesting, okay? Now he's going to sit down at the same angle and same posture on his backside. So see, this is not an alarm. So this is how robust it gets. Same speed, same place, sitting down. But what if he lies down, he falls down? Alarm, okay? It's as good as it gets, right? Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, so this is our fall down detection. It is highly, highly, highly accurate. I do not think that anyone um, can do it as detailed as it is now. So this is how robust it is, okay? So any questions, Tony? I'm gonna run the next algorithm. Uh, you can run your next demo, man. We got about- How long uh, do I have? 13 left? minutes left. Okay, I'm overstaying my time as usual. <laughs> no, it's all right. Talk about it. Okay, so let's try the violence, right? So I'll just do a fast violence. I'll get uh, some of my colleagues to help. Okay. Um, let's get one more colleague here. Okay, let's get Sasha. Okay, Sasha from Russia and Mr. Chi. Okay, so. When they're ready, they're going to fight, and you know, and uh, and uh, we'll see how it comes up. Okay, you guys, you can maybe get into a little fight. Okay, so you see the purple box turn purple, and the fight will come. Wait, did I enable the fight? Wait, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wait, something, some. Okay, wait, wait a while. Let me change the sensitivity. Right. All right. Okay. There you go. Okay. So sometimes it takes a while, but it takes a fight. Okay. So let's say if they shake hands uh, or give a friendly hug. Okay. Okay. Wait. Let me pull out this chair because it's interrupting with Sasha's color. All right, so let's say if you guys hug, um, give a friendly hug to each other, you know, this the alarm won't go out. And if you play some games with your hand, you know, you see, it, it's not the alarm. See, you, you need to really get a fight for the alarm to, to go through, okay? So that's how it works. So it has to be uh, highly accurate and they really have to fight and they have to be contact. We notice that they are humans and then uh, in the group, and then they start to fight. Okay, I'm going to run something uh, uh, interesting here. As you can see just now, all the bookmarks, right? So um, we can create a lot of different uh, uh, event triggers. Okay, um, for example, on um, so 
something really cool we can do is that you know we can even like make the system speak you know so for example if i create a new trigger analytic event i select probably this live camera and so i can send uh, that's what we do for some projects you can speak and say probably uh ouch that hurts or whatever you know i'm just gonna put some some oh help patient or something like that i don't know how long you can do this never tried i want to try it now our chat hurts help patient okay so you can uh, add this uh analytic events triggering out so sorry select camera okay speak just select all cameras there no select all cameras so, okay so you can actually uh do that uh, i mean on the, on the action sean you got to select the camera there okay sorry sorry action yeah all cameras yep here you go okay okay all right so let's say we go to the the fall detection again we get someone to fall down apply um all right Ouch, that hurts help patient. Can you hear that? <laughs> Ouch, that hurts help patient or, you know, so whatever. Okay. So you can, yeah, basically, can, uh, you can basically link any one of these analytics events to any other event and in, in, in any other action in NX Witness. And that includes an API call to a third party using exactly, that UHTTP exactly, request. Exactly. This, right? is something that is, uh, this is something that is uh, underlooked by many people, but there's so much thing you can do with these actions. and. It all comes with uh, the NS Witness platform. You can send HTTP requests, you can open doors, you can play sound, you can send email, you can set up alarms, you can even uh, trigger off sound systems, light systems, whatever you do, is there's so much possibilities you can do with this. You know? And I believe uh, NX is gonna come up with a double action push or something, I heard some, um, it's in the pipeline or something, so there'll be even yeah. better. Every release, we're trying to add more and more different types of actions and, and events that could take place. And that includes exposing some of the system type events and actions. Um, so, so every single release, the best way, if you guys want an action that doesn't exist or a trigger that doesn't exist yet, or uh, sorry, an event that doesn't exist or an action that doesn't exist, then we have our community forum. Uh, it's support.networkgraphics.com where we have feature requests. Um, and our product management team takes a look at all those feature requests. So any feature requests that you want, go to support.nevergraphics.com and go to the community and click on the feature request form. So, uh, Sean, anything else? We got a few minutes left. Any questions? Yeah. Oh, uh, we're not there yet. So give me my control back. Okay, I'll give you the control back, and maybe I will fall. I will fall for by popular demand. So I'll fall. Okay, for you guys. In my suit. All right. <laughs> All right. So um, that is the live demo Sean just went through. Um, how to buy Sincere Analytics. And I was when I was an integrator, that's one of my questions. Um, if you're interested in becoming a reseller or using Neuralytics for your upcoming products, you can just uh, send Sean an email or you can contact your local NX sales team member uh, to talk about it. Uh, we can put you in contact with Sean. Um, uh, an overview of, of the Neuralytics features are available as well in my.nevergraphics.com um, in the Works with NX Marketplace. Um, there was a couple more questions that came in right at the end, Sean. So yep. I'm going to read those out. Um, what if someone is missing limbs? Like, 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 uh, like, you know, like got an arm, like a got their arm cut off. Uh, does that, does that, does that mess with the algorithms? No, it doesn't because uh, we can even do. Are you talking about fall detection or which algorithm you're talking about? Any of the algorithms, I think, is a general question. What if you have someone who is missing an arm or a leg or legs? Does it does how does the algorithm react to that? How does the neurolytics react to that? Okay, the first thing we do is that we detect it's a human first. So he has to look like a human. If he's missing one hand or he still has a head or, or, or you know, he's missing limbs, he still can detect from his upper body he's a human because we do detect half half uh, half views. 
So um, unless if he looks too much unlike a human, then of course we can't detect the human. But I guess the answer to missing limbs is yes, because we can even do thermal imaging detection. We really try with high vision, uh, thermal camera without a uh, face and what. Uh, recently in one of our, our um, exhibitions in uh, uh, Adelaide, Australia, and it works. So um, yeah. Cool. So another question was, um, you guys, do you guys have LPR and face recognition? That will be in the Genesis. It is going to come out in another webinar. This is just the VA section and we also have sound. We will do it another time in another webinar. So, but if you want more information, please go on the website. To our website. website is all there. Yep. So capabilities you have, but you didn't show this time are, are going to be LPR and face recognition and then audio and analysis, right? And intelligence search. Yeah. Intelligence search. Right. Okay. Something, yeah. So basically an object-based intelligent video search, right? Precisely. All right. Um, another question was how many actions can NX send at once? And the answer to that is um, if you're using a built-in action, then it's just one. But since we have do HTTP requests as an action, you can actually chain uh, API calls together to make or create an API call back to your own system to create multiple actions. Um, so we are also going to be extending the, the, the rules engine in the next year or so where you're going to see if then, then this and this and this uh, logic. So you're going to be able to start to chain them together in the interface. Uh, in the short term, though, if you need more than one action, uh, you can use the do HTTP requests and send an API call back to your own server to chain together actions. Um, all right, so I think that's all the questions. How does the software work? There's one more just came in. How does the software work in busy areas like schools? Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't matter because the thing is that it's nice to have a good camera angle. How it does that it takes uh, the humans, as for example, and then it falls. We have tested it robustly in uh, in shopping malls, and it still works. Actually, if you go on the website, you can see that we do uh, detection in groups. We can put people standing around, and it still works. Yep. So, so your question, is, there, is there like a, a rough number of the number of people, like maximum you could do on one camera? There is no maximum, actually. It's, it's how many how clearly can you see uh, your view? If you have give me like 100 small people, of course, we can't do that. We need to have a clear view. That comes so, back to the question of optimizing your camera, right? So is there like a minimum pixel size you need or pixel density that you need for a camera? Yeah, you need to be 720 and above. You can't run anything lower than that. Actually, you can, but it will not be accurate. And the camera has to be two meters high over the ground. It can't be like eye view. So you can have a whole body capture. As long as we can capture the guy uh, full body, we can run the analytics there's, on it. Yep. There's no minimum, like like for example, to be able to detect the person, is there a minimum number of pixels you need just for one person? Uh, there is no, as long as the camera can see clearly and we can detect the human. So, so as long as you have a 720p camera yeah. and you have yeah. a clear, and, you're, and the camera is able to see someone, you know, neurolytics yeah. should be able to detect them. Precisely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and then the last slide. We got a couple minutes left. We got one minute left. We got Q and A. You guys have been asking some questions, but you got a whole minute to ask more questions if you guys want. Um, if not, uh, we'll wait for the minute to be up, and then uh, we'll let you get back to work on Friday or Thursday if you're in the U.S. So um, thank you for, for um, inviting our company to do this uh, webinar. We are very privileged to be the, the uh, first one to uh, get involved with this. So thank you, Tony, yeah. and thank you, Phoenix. And uh, all sure. the, yeah. thanks for uh, thanks for giving us the demo. Um, for everyone on the call, we're gonna put the this presentation up uh online as well so it'll be downloadable for you guys um so you can review it afterwards and we'll also put a recording up of this um this webinar uh, on our youtube channel in case you want to watch it again and relive the good times so uh thank you so much to everybody for attending um and thanks to sean and centurion uh, thank, you. thank you thank you thank you everybody see you guys everybody.
Have a good weekend, guys.